So this uh, video covers the, the, an introduction to statistical process control, sort of what it is, why, why it is. Uh, we'll introduce the specific uh, different elements in a couple of other videos. We'll do one where we talk about how to do them, and then I'll, uh, I'll do another one where I give uh, some specific examples. But this is really to introduce you to, to make sure you have a foundation as to what statistical process control is. So whenever we do something, there is some natural variation, right? We cannot do things exactly the same every time. And, and because, we, uh, because we are unable to do things exactly the same every time, we can't have things that, that, that the process can't yield the same thing every time. So we have some variation. What we're trying to do with statistical process control is differentiate between natural variation, sort of the variation we we expect and that we see and that we uh, that we're that is acceptable, or the special or assignable causes of variation. And these are things that have changed in our process. They're the, they're not the common variability. There's when something has gone wrong, and that's what we're trying to highlight with statistical process control. Uh, and and so you know it provides a, a signal when assignable causes are present, and allows us to detect and eliminate assignable causes of variation. So what we want to do is get get a, a warning when things are going wrong, uh, and then we have to go back and say why is that happening and what can we do about it. So natural variation, also called common causes, always happen. There's a certain amount of expected variation uh, and output measures follow a probability distribution. We're not gonna worry too much about those probability distributions. And for any distribution, there's a measure of central tendency and there's some dispersion. So what we're trying to do is have that dispersion be predictable uh, and consistent and most of our, uh, our values be close to the middle. Uh, if then the distribution falls within the acceptable limits, the process is said to be in control. So the natural variations have limits. The process is in control if it's staying within those limits. Assignable variations are things that signal a change or a problem in the process. There can be assignable causes that are positive, but but what what the, what their measure what the, what they are are unusual and we're measuring or highlighting those and then we need to find out why they occur uh, and eliminate the bad ones and maybe say, well, we've gotten better at this. Maybe we then reset the process and reset the limits so that we account for that and do that change on a consistent basis. So, uh, to, to measure a process, we take samples and analyze the sample statistics following these steps. So there are many types of distributions. You know, we have the normal distribution, which is bell-shaped. Uh, we can have uh, skewed dis distributions. Uh, we can have, you know, there's a central tendency here where we, we have a mean in a, in a, uh, in a, uh, Normal distribution, the mean is in the middle, uh, not necessarily true in a skewed distribution. Uh, and uh, what we want is a measure of sort of the center of the distribution or, or the, yeah, the center of the distribution and the variation around that center. So that's the concept on which uh, statistical process control is, is, is built. And so, we take samples over time and we hope that those samples reflect a consistent uh, distribution, which means that only natural causes of variation are present. The output of a process forms a distribution that is stable over time and predictable. That's why we call it statistical process control. So here we drew from the sample, here we drew a sample and it it's not all exactly the same, but uh, they are consistent within the limits. Most of them are, are close to the middle, 
and uh, they are all within the limits and we would hope that as long as we continue to have only natural sources of variation we would stay within those limits. To measure the process, we take samples and analyze the sample statistics following these steps. Yep, sorry. If assignable causes are present, the process output is not stable over time and is not predictable. So we have this to start. All of a sudden, this is off to the one side. This one is off to the other side. And so now we have things that are changing and our output isn't consistent. Even if that is narrower, uh, something has changed. Uh, it's narrower, but it's off center. So something has changed. So we, we want a measure of both central tendency and variation. And we'll talk about that more uh, as we get into uh, statistical process control in more detail. So what we get then is a measure of uh, these uh, distributions. We, we take a mean sample regularly and we plot it. So this is, this line uh, is, is the center, is the expected value. And then we have an upper control limit and a lower control limit. And those control limits are the, the, outside, the outside acceptable limits of our sample. So if we are, so this one is within, it's, it's getting a little bit of a concern, but we got back. This one is outside of the limits, and that would cause us to say, whoa, let's take a look uh, and see what's causing the problem here. So as soon as we're outside of those limits, uh, we would say, oh, there's something going on here. We need to take a look. Now, uh, if you look here, so this is a, a a process that they're sampling and each of those are within those distributions, within those control limits. So these dotted lines are the control limits. So this one would be considered to be in control. These ones down here would be considered to be out of control. So we have these expectations, these lower control limits and upper control limits of the distribution that are expectations and are acceptable limits and these samples are falling outside of those limits, and so we consider those to be out of control. These distributions here in the middle uh, are uh, signals that the, the process is consistent, so it's in statistical process control, but the natural variation that we're seeing here is outside of the limits that we set as acceptable. So we have this, a process that's in control, but not a process that's capable. And so capability is, a, is an important concept here. Capability, we don't have a process that's capable of producing within the limits that we want. And so that's a design issue. Uh, that's, a, that's an issue that we need to revise the process because, yep, it's doing what it's doing consistently but it's not doing it within the within the within the, uh, the acceptable limits. So we have a process that's in the control and capable. We have a process that's in control and not capable. And this one looks like it's a process that's capable but not in control. So they're either uh, there there must be some assignable causes for that to be a higher degree or or off outside of the control limits. So to wrap this up, we, we establish control limits for a variety uh, of data. And so if you remember nothing else from statistical process control, uh, you should remember this. There are two types of data. The first one, and, and these two types of data have different types of control charts to, uh, to monitor them. So you can have a variable and a variable is like a, it is continuous. It can take any value. It can be in whole or in fractional numbers. They are continuous random variables. All that means is that they're not binary. So it could be temperature where you could have, it could be height. It could be weight. It could be um, width. It could be any sort of thing that is a, a continuous measure of 
some characteristic of your process. Then, on the other hand, you have what's called attributes. And attributes are binary. They are yes, no, fail, pass, and so they are defect, defect or problem-related characteristics. Uh, they're either good or bad, or they count good outcomes or bad outcomes, and they're categorical or discrete random variables. So it's, it's, it's one or the other. It is pass, fail, late, on, uh, on time, late, all of those sorts of things. So we need to, if you remember nothing else, you need to understand that variables and attributes have different types of statistical process control charts and because we, we think about them differently. So statistical process control is about understanding and acknowledging some natural variation in process, but, but using a process where we set limits that allows us then to evaluate whether there is a problem or assignable causes that are causing us some variability that we that we don't want and, and that is unacceptable in our process. Works for either products or for services. So that's a quick introduction to statistical process control. I will have sort of an introduction to the key uh, metrics and, and tools that we use and then I will go through some examples all in separate videos. So have a great day.